We're going to take you into the number one shopping market of Saigon, into Benton. And it really is the symbol of the city. It's the postcard shot. It's the defining emblem of Saigon. When you see a picture of the market, you know that it's a photograph of Saigon. Before diving in, we're going to show you the basic route of how to get here. Driving along up one of the major streets, it's Le Loi. You see lots of motorcycles out here as usual. You'll see families on a motorcycle. You'll see couples out on a motorcycle. And out front of the market, there's a lot of other motorcycle taxis waiting for customers. Watch out for the traffic in front of the market. This is a very busy spot, a major traffic circle. And there is a crosswalk, but it's a little tricky to cross the street. You just have to keep your eyes open and take your time. The motorcycles will drive around you. They're not gonna run you down. They don't wanna damage their motorcycle. So you'll be just fine. Here goes a family along the crosswalk and motorcycles are weaving along on both sides of them, no problem. Motorcycle taxis wait out front of the market, give shoppers a ride back home or back to their hotel. And people just treat their motorcycles like furniture. They're just lounging around on the bikes. And you'll have a, a big variety of things to see all around you. Our guide's going to tell us a little bit about it to get us oriented. So this is the central market of the city. The name is Benthan Market. B-E-N-T-H-A-N-H. -E so normally this market for foreign tourists. So they have many souvenir things or clothes, food, yeah, almost everything for foreign tourists in this market. Okay, local people also go here Everybody. to buy food as well. Can we bargain? Yeah. You should bargain here. Okay, let's go. To, uh, try to be the best negotiator in this market. This here, they normally they have uh, lacquerware, they have the uh, souvenir uh, handicraft textiles. product, the most popular textile. Yeah. Hats, Shoe. Shoes, yeah. food. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome to Vietnam. <laughs> Selling lacquer, lacquerware? Yes, me. You want my table, Mike? Um, no. For the next several minutes, we're going to take you on a stroll through the market. There are many, many aisles. It's roughly grouped into products and different kinds of merchandise, but mostly it's clothing. No matter which way you turn, and there's going to be bags, there's going to be t-shirts, there's fabrics, and lots of friendly sales clerks and friendly people. The locals here in the market generally speak a little bit of English, so that's one real advantage for the visitor in going to the Benton market. Yes, it is a little bit more touristic than a true local market. Some local shop here. But since it's touristic, the merchants can speak to you. They've got to speak some English. They'll speak a little French. They'll speak a little German. You have an international range of tourists in here. What are you selling? T-shirts. How much for one t-shirt? Five dollars. Five dollars? Five t-shirts? One. <laughs> one? That's expensive. Very cheap. <laughs> so you're going to want to do some price comparison. One stall might sell t-shirts for five dollars and another could be selling them for two dollars. Of course you must bargain. Obviously everything in this market is negotiable. You don't want to pay the list price. Get them down at least 20 percent, maybe 30, 40 percent or more if you're buying in volume. And they're friendly. They don't mind if you're offering a, a lowball offer. That's okay. It's all part of the game here, part of the sport. But if you're going to bargain, if you're going to take the merchant's time to do some bargaining, do it in good faith. So if you reach a fair price, be sure to make a purchase. You don't want to be wasting your time or playing games with them. But otherwise, just keep your eyes open, have a chat, keep strolling. There's so much to see and it's so colorful. It does get a little warm in here, so perhaps late in the afternoon is a good time. They stay open till five o'clock, and then they shut down, and a couple hours later, the night market opens, 
on the streets around. You can even get appliances here. They can get a rice cooker, purchase a fan. The restaurants inside will bring food to the vendors and they'll have their meals right at their stall. There's a, a bunch of eateries towards the back of the mall that we'll show you in a moment. Here's another section that deals with toiletries and perfumes and cosmetics. Now we're getting into the packaged foods, dried fruits, and then the food counters. They've got full-on kitchens inside. You can sit down and have lunch or you can have an early dinner. There's lots of produce for sale as well. You get fresh fruits. Here they're squeezing sugar juice out of sugar cane. Various sorts of dried beans and more fresh produce. Very colorful goods and inexpensive. Of course, that's one of the great advantages of shopping at Benton Market and in fact being in Vietnam. Things are not expensive here. There's the flag of the country, the gold star on the red field. Hey, Vietnam. Vietnam! Nearly all of the clothing is manufactured in Vietnam, so you know you're getting a good deal. Obviously, if you're buying things that are imported into Vietnam, uh, the price is not going to be quite as good. But this clothing is made here. And then you can take a look at the souvenirs as well around the edge on the periphery. They've got little dolls and they've got more bags and lacquerwares out there. And just outside the market is a very interesting scene. There's streets all around it that have more goods for sale, more shops and more restaurants. The typical street restaurant of Vietnam with the low tables and the low stools, plastic furniture, inexpensive food, with quick service. Open air dining. Friendly folks. Mama proudly showing off for kids. Kids getting training at the market already at such a young age. Hello. It's just a general friendly hangout here. And many of the tourists that you see are actually from other parts of Vietnam as well. The Benton Market area is a major magnet for all sorts of visitors, as well as for locals. Now back into the market after a breather outside, more of the souvenir stands. And there are clerks everywhere, unlike in so many modern department stores today in the Western world, it seems like all the clerks have disappeared and all you have left is a central cash register someplace. The human touch, the customer service is pretty much gone from most Western stores. But that's certainly not the case here in the markets of Vietnam. And as you notice, it's a great place for people watching. The local clerks here really are quite friendly and you'll have a, a big variety of things to see all around you. And while it might seem a little bit chaotic and crowded, it's always entertaining. Especially if you enjoy people, this is a great spot to be. On the other hand, if you're averse to crowding, if you get easily claustrophobic, if you don't want to be in close quarters with others, you might just want to have a quick look at Benton, take a snapshot, and then exit. It's up to you. Take your pick. But for those who enjoy a stroll in close quarters, this is an ideal spot. Every inch of space is utilized here. It's at a premium, so you'll notice the aisles are quite narrow and the goods are stacked very high. Lacquerware production is one of the most traditional industries in Vietnam and makes a prized gift to take home. They've been creating lacquerware for approximately 2,400 years in Vietnam. Certainly the Benton Market is on everybody's top 10 list of things to see and do in Saigon. You cannot leave out a visit to the market. Even if you're just here for a day or two, you're going to come on down, have a look, have a quick walk through at least. Or if you have the time, you can very easily spend half a day or even a full day in the market. Come on in in the morning, walk around, do some bargaining, get an idea of the prices, sit down, have lunch either inside at one of the counters or at those nice little sidewalk restaurants around on the streets outside, and then 
come on back inside for some more fun and some more bargaining. And they sell almost everything in here from dried spices to live chickens and cheap clothing and plastic wear, little stools, fans, more clothing everywhere. You're not going to get lost inside here, although you will get disoriented because there are very few actual landmarks. There's sort of a wide central aisle, but other than that, you're on your own. And so you might end up going a little bit in circles. You'll come back and see something that looks very similar. And it's not because all the stalls have the same stuff, but you've come full circle perhaps. And if you're trying to meet somebody, maybe just pick the entrance out front on the main traffic circle. There are four entrances, so be careful that you've agreed upon the correct entrance, otherwise you'll never find each other. Out front or in the center at one of the food stalls would be also an uh, easy spot. It's located in district number one and everyone knows where it is, so if you're leaving your hotel and you need to get a taxi to get here, it's very simple. Just tell the driver Benton Market and they'll understand even if they don't speak any English they will understand. It's been estimated that there are approximately 3,000 stalls in this market. That's a phenomenal number. You can step outside and take a break, get a breather, maybe have a snack from one of these sidewalk stands or just for a little change of pace. It does get a little intense. It's a little crowded inside that market with very tight quarters, as you notice, very narrow aisles. So it's good to get outside and get some fresh air. And then if you want a little more, you can plunge back in. Regarding the pricing, you might be charged a little bit more than the locals will pay, even after you've negotiated them down. After all, that comes with the territory of being a tourist. But what's a few dollars? Most of the items in here sell for under $10 anyway. You can expect to get a decent t-shirt for $2 or $4. Maybe some knockoff designer shirts for $6 or $8. And it's rare that you would pay more than $10 for anything in the market. So it's just a great spot to spend your money. It's got everything under one roof, so you really don't have to do much other shopping while you're in the city. You'll find it all right here at the Benton. And then when you're finished, that leaves you some time in the evening for relaxing and finding another restaurant and having another great meal. This market's got quite a history. It was not always in this location. Uh, as early as the 17th century, there was a main central market in the Saigon area that was closer to the Saigon River. And that continued for about 100 years in that other location. And this market in its current location was actually established by the French colonial powers back around 1859. And it became a bustling central wholesale as retail marketplace. And then there was a great fire in 1870 and it was rebuilt into Saigon's largest market, then it really became important. And in 1912, it was moved to a new building that distinguished it from the other predecessor building, bigger yet. And then in 1985, it was renovated to the building that you see today. So it really has quite a long history. And so for a century, the market has been the prosperous commercial center of Saigon. And the building is really one of the oldest surviving historic buildings in the city. Saigon has a longer history, but there really are not very many buildings that are standing from more than 100 years ago. So the Benton Market is a very important historical landmark. In late afternoon, it closes and then reopens partially at night. Is there a night market? Yes, 7 o'clock. Right there? It looks like some vendors are starting to close down. Right. So, hi there. Hi. Is the market closing now? What time does the market close? Oh, six o'clock. Oh, right now then. Yeah. Oh, Shutting down now. Okay. They have to pack away all of the goods every night and secure them and then reopen every day in the next morning. When you're all done, you can step back out into the controlled chaos of this major traffic circle out in front of the marketplace. It's busy. 
it's evening rush hour, so all the scooters are whizzing by. There's taxis out here. You can get a regular automobile taxi, motorcycle taxi, or you can get a cyclo, a pedicab like I'm gonna take where the driver can just pedal you home. Notice how they frequently carpool or scooter pool on the motos. They got two people, three people, maybe a whole family with four people. Occasionally you'll see five or six little babies hanging on the arms. We have a couple of movies about riding through Saigon on a motorcycle. These are really detailed, in-depth look at the whole city from a motorcycle in our series on Saigon. We've left the market behind and it's only a short ride back to the modern center where our hotel is located, under a mile. Riding another pedicab, this time in downtown Saigon. It's a pretty scenic way to get around town and it only costs a few dollars to go a couple of miles. So it beats walking sometimes when you're getting a little tired. And you can negotiate with these fellows, get them down a little bit in their price. You really do get a special view when you're riding in the front of a cyclo. There's nothing between you and the city and the traffic. Perhaps the most important historic building in town is City Hall in the French style. And out front, there's a statue of Ho Chi Minh, Uncle Ho, father of the unified Vietnam. Although we spent most of our program in the old marketplace of Saigon, dating back almost 100 years, this is also a very modern city with a beautiful and developing downtown. After such a long and exciting and tiring day and evening, it's great to get back to the luxury of the five-star Caravelle Hotel right in the heart of Saigon. We have a lot more movies about Vietnam covering the highlights of this wonderful country, taking you to Hanoi, Saigon, Hue, Hoi An, and much more.